What's good everyone? Noah here bringing you week two of my first ever Pokemon Draft League. I told you guys I'd be back this week, and I wasn't lying, here I am. So last week we had a very dominating first game against Spice, and that was mostly um, due to, shout out, Don Mephesto, the Terra Salamence, and our very intricate plan. Um, that was a lot easier to plan a game for, because our opponent that week had a very front-loaded draft, kind of like we do, actually. But yeah, his top Mons worked really well against my team, so I was kind of really able to accurately predict what he'd bring. Like, I prepped for the first six Mons that he drafted, and he brought five out of six of those. So with that, I was able to kind of execute a really intricate plan with Salamence, like the dual dancing set that I had, and go for a sweep with Terra Steel. Now this week, it's not going to be that easy. Our opponent is Pickles, and he's a very experienced draft player, and his draft is very confusing to prep against. Like, there's no telling what he's gonna bring, because he pretty evenly balanced out his picks. So, I'm not 100% sure how to prep against this, to be honest. And this is kind of gonna be a coin toss with what he brings versus what I bring. But I tried to be as unpredictable as I could with my picks without sacrificing too much power. So hopefully we can pull out a win against him. Um, we are, if you take a close look, going to be playing with Terra Salamence versus Terra Roaring Moon. So it's time for us to prove this week that OG Salamence is the best Salamence. This is the Salamence division of this league after all, so it's going to be pretty embarrassing if we lose here against Roaring Moon, this absolute fraudulent. So with that being said, let's go into the team that I built this week and see what I got cooked up for our opponent. So looking at our team here, I'm going to start at the top. We've got Greninja to start. Um, in testing, I found that Battlebond Greninja, if it can just start off, get its boost, goes really crazy against the opponent. Um, Surf is just the safe stab move from it. Um, Hydro Pump, while well, the extra power is nice, I was missing way too many Hydro Pumps in testing to justify bringing it over Surf. So, we've got Surf, the classic water attack. We have Grass Knot, this is for Quaquaval, and on the chance that he decides to bring a rain team, um, we've got Grass Knot. This thing hits Basky Legion pretty hard, and I think it could also possibly Oko Bulldog if we have the boost. But yeah, Surf, Grass Knot, and Ice Beam. Um, I wanted to bring Gunk Shot because I think the opponent would prep for Ice Beam, like with Yachi Berry on Appleton or Yachi on pretty much anything, because Ice Beam is kind of an obvious bring for Greninja. But Gunk Shot, the only thing it really hits hard on his team is Appleton. It doesn't even Oko Roaring Moon after the boost, unless I decide to like unnecessary uh, if i put like way too many attack evs in maybe it could beat roaring moon but i just couldn't justify bringing gunk shot so we went with ice beam and we have spikes just in case um we decide to get a little crazy with our predictions if we get greninja in and predict a switch maybe we could get a layer of spikes up um i think hazards are going to be really nice against him i could see i see this game kind of like both of us switching around a lot trying to position our threats properly so if we can get hazards up that would be really nice for us next thing we got is Lycanroc and this last minute actually if you could believe it replaced Great Tusk so looking at the matchup on paper Great Tusk looks pretty good yeah Great Tusk it's a lot of the stuff on its team super effectively like, it hits the DNC with a ground attack, it hits the Galarian Slowbro with a ground attack, Magnezone with a ground attack. Um, I could bring Head Smash, and that hits Moltres, it hits Pelipper, Ice Spinner, hits um, Landorus. Uh, so yeah, and it's very physically bulky, and the opponent's team has a lot of strong physical threats. So Great Toss looks good into the opponent's team, but our opponent is going to prep for Great Toss. He's not going to expect that we don't bring Great Tusk. So hopefully we just throw our opponent completely out of whack by not bringing our first draft pick. 
and instead I opted for Lycanroc. This thing is a pretty nice emergency answer to Roaring Moon, and I picked it because when I was doing testing, Great Tusk ended up as an emergency answer to Roaring Moon a lot, so I just wanted to kind of fill that role with something else. So with Lycanroc, if the Roaring Moon decides to Terra Flying, it can just pretty much, if I get a Sword Stance up and live with Focus Sash, or if the Roaring Moon is already chips down, I can Acceleroc with, and then kill it with priority. So, and then even if I don't kill it and he switches out, if he has boosts or if he used a booster energy, I get rid of any boosts he had, which is really nice. Um, I had Drill Run over Stealth Rocks at one point to hit like Galarian Slowbro, DNC, Magnezone, but those are all like really physically defensive things anyway. So, even if I did bring the coverage against them, Lycanroc still wouldn't be doing too much, and it'd probably be better for me to bring in something different. So, I have Stealth Prox. Like I said earlier, um, getting hazards up is going to be really nice against the opponent, and if I can just layer a bunch of them, um, that's going to discourage him from switching around a lot, and I can hopefully position my threats properly and take him down. Next thing we've got is Enamorous. And this thing, it's just, it's just strong. Like, it's got a really high special attack stat. Um, it's pretty fast. And with the speed advantage we have over our opponent, I don't even have to run Timid to, like, outspeed most of his team. So I opted for a bunch of speed. Speed creep is highest thing that's not Roaring Moon. And we have a bunch of special attack and enough speed death so that we live to, that we live a flamethrower, or that a substitute lives a flamethrower after two Calm Minds. So I'm figuring that he might bring Moltres as a counter to Enamorous, but if we can just, if we get a couple Calm Minds up, and then if we get a substitute, we can just, we don't even die from a flamethrower. So, yeah, Enamorous goes kind of crazy into the opponent, and if we can just get a bunch of boosts and have a substitute up for if something faster like Roaring Moon comes in to revenge it, I can use the substitute to take a hit, kill the Roaring Moon if I have a couple boosts and it Terra's, and hopefully maybe possibly get a sweep with it, who knows. But yeah. Next thing we've got is Miss Magius. And on paper, Miss Magius is really well into the opponent in the uh, the opponent's team. Like, he has no ghost resists, like everything he has is either neutral or weak to ghost, except for Roaring Moon. But Roaring Moon is four times weak to fairy and Miss Magius gets a couple fairy moves. So the plan with Miss Magius is to Will-O-Wisp and disable physical attackers, set up with Nasty Plot, and then if it's something like Quackaval, you can Draining Kiss, get a bunch of health back. And if Roaring Moon comes in, I VV'd it so that from full, it's guaranteed to live a max attack, adamant, banded, crunch with Goldberberry. And then I can get a Will-O-Wisp off, burn it, or possibly if I'm suspecting Lumberry, I could just raw Draining Kiss, maybe kill it. I think if I see a Booster Energy come out, then I, I'm going to assume it's Terra Flying, he's going to Terra, and it'd be better for me to Will-O-Wisp. If I don't see a Booster come out, it's probably going to be better for me to just Draining Kiss, because he might just not Terra and attack. But yeah. I think Miss Magius has some real potential here, and if it could maybe 1v1 Roaring Moon, that would be really good for me. Next up we got the star of the show from last week, Salamence. And this thing, his main role on the team is to cripple the opponent pretty early, especially if he brings rain. So I have Moxie again, and we've got DD free attacks. I've got enough attack investment so that after 1 DD, we Oko Pelipper with Thunderfang. So if the opponent decides to bring in Pelipper against Salamence to maybe live a hit from it and revenge it with like Ice Beam or something, Thunderfang could potentially come in clutch there. It's also just a nice move if the opponent has a bunch of water types, if he brings rain. And yeah, after like at plus two, it just kills most of the things on his team. And yeah, it just kind of goes crazy. I've got Terra Water because of a lot of stuff on his team is weak to water. He's got Landorus, he's got uh, Moltres, he's got Deancy. So if I again get a boost, um, Terra Water, Terra Blast goes kind of crazy. 
It actually, at first I had Mystic Water, and when I do the battle, I might actually put Mystic Water back on Salamence. Um, yeah, Mystic Water it was just, it pushed it just over the line to Oko, like, defensive, um, defensive Landorus, and I think Deancey also. So actually, when I do the game, this might be Mystic Water instead of Citrus Berry. Sorry for not locking in the sets before doing the team builders, but I'm indecisive. And finally, we've got Cresselia. And shout out to Superbench for suggesting Call Mine Stored Power. We are going to be doing that. So the goal with this is to break past walls that he might bring. Like, in particular, I'm thinking Galarian Slowbro. If he runs, like, a setup set or even, like, Assault Vest. Um, that thing is kind of scary for me to deal with. It just walls a lot of the stuff on my team, and it could be a big problem for me. So Cresselia, with its natural bulk, it could probably 1v1 a Galarian Slowbro. And then if I just get a bunch of Calm Mines up, um, it could just sweep. <laughs> like, the, he does have the Roaring Moon, which I have to look out for. But Moonblast is there, in case he decides to not Terra so that he walls Sword Power. Moonblast could, after a bunch of boosts, Oko Roaring Moon. And obviously I've got Moonlight for recovery. So yeah, Cresselia could just be like the counter wall to his wall and just possibly sweep. But yeah, this is the squad for this week. And if you look closely, <laughs> you'll notice that I'm pretty much bringing all setup sweepers. This is, uh, I'm not recommending this for anybody, any aspiring Pokemon players. Um, it's probably not a good idea for me to do this either. Like, if he just brings something with Taunt, that shuts down my whole operation pretty much. So don't be like me, and don't do this. But I'm not doing this to... I'm not doing this because it's, like, really good sets. I'm hoping to catch him with the surprise factor. Because, like I said, I'm not bringing Great Tusk, which is kind of a bold move for me. And I think he's gonna be planning for a lot of different stuff. He might be expecting setup because I did that last week, but he can't stop everything from setting up, right? So, this is the squad this week. I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna work. It's really gonna come down to the six that he chooses to bring, but hopefully I can pull out another win and remain on top of the league. That's gonna be it for now. I will see you guys when I'm in the game. All right, um, I'm gonna get the link to this real quick. And just gonna throw this in the live battles. All right, um, he's bringing rain. Uh, Alright, I was about, like, 30% sure of rain. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I was mostly prepared for something else. But, okay, okay. What do we lead? That's the big question. I think I like lead... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we got either... I'm between Gren and Salamence. I'm thinking he either sends out Landorus first or Salamence. Or he sends out either Landorus or Pelipper. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go Salamence. Let's lead Mets. Yep, okay. So there's the... There's Lando. And oh, I need to check his Terra type also. <laughs> He's Terra Fairy Moon. Okay, okay. So that's not too bad. Um... I think it was very last week too, actually. But yeah, I think we can we can work with this. You might taunt here, but let's try and be. Uh, I'm kind of worried about a grass knot. Okay, he U-turns. Okay, that's perfectly fine. So we got the U-turn, and we resisted that. Get Terra yet? It's very nice. And Pelipper. Awesome. Okay, so I need to run a Calc <coughs> real quick. He might U-turn again, though. Okay. 
Let's see. Right, where is Salamence? Where are you, Salamence? Salamence, Salamence, Salamence. Theory. We have Pelipper. Oh, you defensive Pelipper? How much will Thunderfang do? 66 to 79. Okay, not a guaranteed Oko. Alrighty, alrighty. So, this guy might... I think I need to Terra here just in case he decides to Ice Beam. He stays in. He hurricanes. Okay, don't confuse. Please don't confuse. Alright, that's fine. And Thunder Fang. Let's go. He might switch out to Lando here, predicting this if he does. Uh, good play for him. Nope. He stays in. Pelipper goes down. Let's go. Woo! All right, and I think he might. He's definitely on the back row now. Alrighty, so he probably has to send Lando in to get another Intimidate off, and he might be Grass Knot. <laughs> I'm kind of worried about that. But this was my main goal with Mets, to take out Pelipper in the event of rain. So I'm really happy we got that. I think we outspeed everything, too, so... Whatever, whatever he goes to, I think I'm guaranteed to move first. And we got the rain up, so we get a nice boost for our Terra Blast water. Oh, Basky Legion, okay, okay. Um, I think Thunderfang is still my strongest move here. I just click that. If he, uh, he lives that, that's fine though. Because, yeah, he kills himself here. Oh, he doesn't kill himself here. But I think that was banded damage. So we can air blast water here. He might be, uh, I'm a little worried about him being, uh, what's it called? Aqua Jet on Quaka Ball. But I think I'm okay. All right. So if he sends in Quaka Ball, he's most likely Aqua Jet. Bull Duck, okay. So I just Thunderfang again. I know I'm faster. Yeah. Easy Thunderfang. I could even if even if this doesn't kill, it could flinch. Which would be awesome. Thunderfang. Oh, that doesn't kill. Alright, that's fine. Yep, he's grass knot on something. Okay. I knew he would bring grass knot on at least something. So the question is, what do we go into now? This is difficult. Oh man, okay, okay. So I think we just click a cellar rock here. <coughs> and I've already, I think I've already pretty much put him on the back foot at least. He switches out here to preserve. Um, good play by him. He might. Let's see, what's he gonna do? I don't want my rocks up. Yeah, let's get rocks up, because now Golduck is dead. Alright, this is Rapid Spinner, and he has to make a choice here. He either Rapid Spins or goes for a kill. A minus attack, but... Okay. I think I just put player up here. He definitely doesn't want these rocks up. Oh man, this is... Ah, it's a little spicy, but rain is gone. Oh man, I think... I think this Magus just might be the best play. Let's see. Alright, this is gonna be a little risky. Man, what do I do, what do I do? Okay, I think I gotta stop the rapid spin and go Miss Magius. I am pretty defensive on it, so I should should live um, in Aqua Step. It, uh, it yeah should live a plus two Aqua Step if he decides to SD here, predicting the switch. Let's see. All right. Oh, I don't live that. Shoot, is this thing like banded? Not good. Not good. Not good. All right. We need to double out here. This is not going great. 
Well, it went pretty good at the start. Okay. This might be... Okay, I don't think this is banded damage. It's either banded damage or... He's just, uh, not crazy. Okay. Alright, yeah, we eat that easily. So he has to switch here. Maybe he goes Joe Shiesty. So I think we predict that and go Gren. Yup. Yup, there's the switch. There's the switch. Oh, it's all coming together now. Nice. Okay, okay. And this looks like a free ice beam. Okay, he sacks that. That's fine. Ah, I should have... I should have gotten up spikes. That's fine, though. Alright, what do you bring next? Okay, Roaring Moon is out. He's booster speed. Okay, that's scary. Okay. I think I might have to sack this here. It's a little scary, but he most likely Terra Fairies here and Terra Blasts. And, oh, you know what? I think I sack Miss Mag, actually. Oh, he DDs! No! I might have just lost this right here. I think this is where the reverse sweep comes in. Alright. Dragon Claw. Okay. Alrighty. Doesn't... I don't think I have anything for this, to be honest. I might need to go Cress. Let's see. Okay, he might try to DD here. In which case, I think I have to call mine. Yeah, he DDs. I think I can live a crunch from him. I think I can live a crunch. Need the moonlight. Oh, man. Ah, oh, shoot. This is not going good. I'm definitely on the back foot here. Ah, oh, shoot. No! Alright, please live. Please live. No, it didn't live. Okay, I think this is it for me. <laughs> this is probably it. No, this is it. Shoot. Oh, man. Alright, I definitely threw this one early on, but... We still got the win first week, and Rio isn't terrible. All right, so that's gonna be it. Um, sorry that wasn't a win. <laughs> I uh, just I guess I didn't. I had stuff for the uh, for the Roaring Moon, but I didn't play my cards right. Uh, definitely, if I made some plays differently, I could have worked around it, but uh this wasn't my day, I guess. Um, thanks for watching, and hopefully next week it's a win.